So this here is Riley and Riley is the Cocker Spaniel. All Cocker Spaniels are going to range in all different sizes. Like we had, uh, what's her face? Um, Molly. Molly was a multicolored Cocker Spaniel, but Riley's a boy. And Riley's on the bigger side, as you can see. So a lot of these here, he's got some lumps and bumps and some moles. And we just have to be careful because he has some arthritis. I'll lift up his paw very, very easily. And he's got some skin issues with some um, moles. Nice big lump. It really depends on the groomer and depends on the dog. A lot of groomers want to stick them in the tub and wash them and bathe them. And that's just a choice that the groomer makes. We're going to cut him down first and then give him a bath. This time that speeds up the grooming process for him so he doesn't have to stand that long. So he's, oh, he's grimy. Um, oh, Christine, you had that question earlier of what is this? Of what is this on his leg? Oh, right. Yep, so he went to the vet, and what the vet usually does is they shave this portion here. This is just a pre-shave that I'm doing so that this will speed up the grooming process for him. And taking a slicker through some of this is actually going to help out when it comes to cutting later. Cockers are known for skin issues when they get older. It's just... <laughs> it flung. You're going to see the lines, but that's just a pre-cut. So even after we give him a bath, you're still going to see this flaking. It's not going to go away. Oh, that was very nice. So one of the things about Cocker Spaniels is they get lumps, they get bumps, and sometimes they bleed. Mom knows, I already told her, but this is just what groomers go through. It's a normal thing. We're going to get you in the tub, okay? Thank you. Like the hypo aloe, do that one on him first. And then you can do the neem. Okay. Woo! They are long. I know, buddy. We're going to do this as quickly as possible. This foot hurts. And I'm gonna do the rest of that with scissors because this foot hurts him. Okay, we're gonna do this foot. Make sure there's no mats inside here and I don't feel any. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, all right, all right, all right. I know, you gotta trust me. Just trust me, okay? Look, no blood. You just have to, it's, well, you have to understand how many, how many dogs do we do front nails for and they hate their paws touched? Yeah, most. Yes, most dogs hate getting their nails cut. So I'm not surprised. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, 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 let's go this way. We're gonna go the other way, okay? Put you on this side. We're gonna give him a hug. No, you can stay over oh, here. We're gonna I, give I, him. I know what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. give him a hug. I got you, I got you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Easy, easy, easy. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. There we go. I know. It's just little tiny maneuvers. That's all. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You did it. You did it. That was a good boy. All right. So there's a couple different ways that I look for moles. Um, there is cornstarch right here. You can use any type. If you're looking at nail styptic to help stop the blood, please don't use that for any moles. So this here is cornstarch. This one is oozing a little bit. There is another one on his ear that does have a tiny bit, but it's not like extremely bleeding. But I still wanna put a little bit of cornstarch on it so that when I go to that section, it'll remind me that there's a mole. Even back here, 
there's a little mole that had a little blood so i put that on there and if you see down here this one is not bleeding but you can if you just want to see the areas of where um you want to be careful of shaving or like i did before you can just take your hand and guide it along their skin and just feel for moles I don't want to hit that mole. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to do the rest of that with scissors. He's an old man, so he's not, he's not going to look fantastic. And for a Cocker Spaniel, his ears look wonderful. Usually in Cockers, they're like all gunky, yucky. These are pretty good. And my fingers here are at the flap of his ear, so I'm not going to accidentally cut. The cornstarch will just come right off. Oh, look at Christine. Say, I'm doing a good job. Good boy. Just because he has some thick fur, thick hair, I always shave inside here. My finger touched the mole and it's gross. <laughs> Ew, uh, it slipped in a way. Oh, yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, next subject. I'm going to take my fingers, go all the way to the end of his ear so that I'm not going to accidentally cut his ear. Hi. Oh my gosh, I like hair over the one eye. Look at his clean haircut. Look at him. Oh! <laughs> He's got bangs. There, you were new style. You're going to be on the cover of a magazine. Posh Pup. Posh, posh Pup Cocker. So this here, that's a big bump. He's got so it's not like there's extra hair I can take if he's gonna jump and scream and say no please don't do that I'm not gonna bug him and make it go any further because it was just last month that he had it amputated so it's still gonna be sore for him all right so this here is Riley Riley is an older cocker and he's got lumps bumps moles and he's an old man so a lot of times he's going to um, not be too, too happy about the grooming, but we're going to show you a couple of moles and lumps and bumps on him that we as groomers have to deal with sometimes. It's okay, bud. So he had this one paw, this toe was amputated, so it's a little sore. And if no one knows what a real big mole looks like, it's not just a brown speck on your skin. Like it, it actually protrudes out and they can be large. They can be bloody, um, groomers. Sometimes we hit them, sometimes it's difficult, sometimes they just ooze and bleed. And this is just something that we have to go through when we go do grooming. Um, you just have to be really super careful when it comes to the moles and just make sure you don't hit them. So he's gonna get a hypoallergenic and a medicated bath. Do we have any on this side, Christine? Yeah, we have this one right here. So moles all come in shapes and sizes and you just have to watch out for them. There's a couple back here that I'm not gonna show you because they are bleeding. And you see right here, this is the skin. I'm not a vet, so I can't really tell you what that is, but he's a Cocker Spaniel, so they're always gonna have some skin issues. Okay, and this here, that's Riley, and he did a really, really good job today. So we'll see you guys in the next grooming.